Back here on a Tuesday because of Veterans Day, the City Council meeting for Watertown will be today on Tuesday. It is November 12th and we have the Mayor here to talk about the work session that is happening tonight at the uh, City Council Chamber. So thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Good to see you again. And um, traffic is a big one that you're talking about here tonight. A, a work session gives council a chance to meet in public, but talk about things that aren't necessarily voted on. You get to learn Correct. more. Um, and so in the session tonight, it is called the Thompson Boulevard Traffic Calming. That's the way that this is being presented. And the problem here that you're trying to solve or that staff with, with the city trying to solve uh, speeders, right, yes. on Thompson Boulevard. What Correct. section are we talking about? So specifically tonight, we will be focusing on the 300 block of Thompson Boulevard. So for those uh, who are watching, that's that's going to be the block where you cross over Gotham Street heading um, adjacent to Thompson Park there. Um, and so that's an area where we've received a number of complaints about speeding. So tonight we'll hear from our city engineer, planning staff, um, and DPW staff regarding a possible measure to help alleviate concerns about speeding in that stretch of the roadway. But really, anybody who travels on Thompson Boulevard or lives on Thompson Boulevard knows the speeding issue is kind of widespread, I would say, throughout the entire street. The 300 block, explain to me again, is it is it from Gotham going over to Franklin? Yes, correct. It's that one. Yes. It's not it's not the area of uh, from Gotham going down to Washington. No, that's the, that's the that 200 way. block. Okay, yes. so the 300 right. block's that more of a flat area. Flat right there. area, and uh, as people will hear in the work session tonight, one of the contributors to speeding is likely that we do not have curbing um, there that would basically, I guess, what's going to be proposed is no parking on that side of the street and the addition of some green space and a curb that would effectively narrow the street. And again, I believe the proposal is going to be to eliminate parking. Um, the perspective is the more narrow the street, the more likely it is that people won't speed. So right now the parking on that street is on one side because you have houses Correct. on one side and you have Thompson Park on the other, Correct. right? So the parking that's allowed right now is in front of the homes. Correct. And, uh, not year-round, remember that, because you have the parking restrictions, right, right. but uh, during the winter. So right, uh, so people can park there now. Who, who parks there now? It's the homeowners, right? Homeowners, um, you know, people who might be visiting homeowners. Mm -hmm. As it's noted in the uh, materials for tonight's session, um, part of the rationale I assume for uh, restricting the parking there would be that all of those homes have driveways, parking spaces, um, but an important part of this process will be talking with those homeowners, doing some outreach to see how they feel about it. Um, just in reading and preparing for the meeting, from my perspective, I personally wouldn't want parking restricted in front of my home. It kind of becomes an issue when you have people coming over, visiting. Sometimes there's not adequate room in a driveway. So we'll talk through some of those issues tonight. And as I said, a key part of moving forward with this will be talking with the property owners to see how they feel about any proposed changes. And so the, the, the changes that are being proposed in terms of a couple of diagrams that are in the City Council uh, work session tonight, um, it shows how it gets narrow and the curbing gets put in. There's a the sidewalk is there and then what they're calling a planting strip, planting right? Planting strip, so basically, uh, you know, you have a little trees. bit of grass, trees, yes. So um, that would be a cost, right? I mean, that would be a cost. the mm -hmm. city sometimes has contingent areas where the money is there and it's like four projects like this. Yeah. Is, is the money there or do you think this is expensive? Is this going to become one of the issues that are like you can't go and spend the money? Well, uh, honest answer, I don't know what the price tag would be on this project. That's something I hope to find out tonight. Um, certainly, as anybody who follows city government knows, uh, times are tough from the financial sense. So mm -hmm. we have to be mindful when we're moving forward with any projects such as this. What's the cost going to be? What's the maintenance involved? Those sorts of things. Where did the complaint come from? Was it someone that lived on that area? If I recall correctly, it was somebody, yes, who lives on that 300 block okay. who complained. But again, this is, um, from my perspective, an issue that in fact affects the entirety of Thompson Boulevard. And um, there are a number of other streets in the city as well that have had issues with speeding. Barbon Ave is one that comes to mind. I frequently hear from people on Barbon Ave who have concerns about people speeding there. So it's a widespread issue throughout the city. Mm -hmm. And you wonder if it's just the first domino to, to fall in, in a, in right, a list of streets where correct. you have the issue. Um, I would have thought that maybe going across from Gotham down to uh, Washington Street would have been 
an issue. Um, um, it is, and I can speak from experience. I used to live there. That's <laughs> what I'm saying is in front of your, your former uh, yes. residents there that, that it, it's pretty quick in through there as well. So uh, so what happens tonight? No votes for anything. You just get to learn, right? We'll you know, be able to ask questions, hear from our uh, planner, planning department, engineer, DPW, get some more information as far as what they're uh, envisioning with this proposal, ask our questions, hopefully get an idea as far as cost goes, and then um, talk amongst the council to see if there's support. And again, a big part of this will be communicating any potential changes to the residents and seeing how they feel about it. The other thing on the agenda for the work session tonight, it's called the WOTS. That's the Western Out Outfall Flow Trunk Sewer. Trunk sewer. Yes. So exciting to, to have that, but it is. Uh, important and, yes. and explain to people why this is important. So this is a system that oftentimes you'll hear uh, is overwhelmed when we have significant rainfall events and it causes issues for residents, namely you know, water in basements, flooding of streets, those sorts of things. So this is um, the result of a study that we um, undertook to see what changes could be made to alleviate that system, improve it, and basically prepare it for future growth and development in the city. So tonight we'll hear uh, more about the findings and again be able to ask questions of our city engineer and talk through any potential future changes. And so the western outflow, it, it, essentially it's piping under the streets in a section of the city. And is it Arsenal Street? coming down and then kind of going over to Washington Street? Is that is that the area that we're talking about? Uh, it, in that area, yes, but the main areas that are typically affected by any, um, I guess, shortcomings in the system mm -hmm. would be that Butterfield Avenue area, Sherman Street area, that section of the city, Richards okay. Drive, you often hear about. And is this the same one in which that you weren't allowed to have any new, new customers right. on, right? Yes. So that that is, that does affect Arsenal Street, right? Yes. And so there's the apartment building or complex uh, for um, uh, market, is it market housing uh, that's up on Commerce Drive? What's that project? Uh, off the top of my head, I can't recall the name, but yes, the project on Commerce Drive. Yeah, it's to bring in some, some housing. It's DePaul. DePaul is the... So that's that was put on pause for a little bit and, and no new customers can come on board because uh, because it is overwhelmed, and so you have to figure out an answer to it. And it also, uh, I believe, caused some of the problems with the Watertown School District when we had the flooding over the summertime, mm -hmm. and they had some of that water that ended up going into the school there too, right? Correct. So that's why this is important yes, to figure it's, out. Yes, it's something that affects, you know, the entirety of the city pretty much. Yeah. So um, th that one's another one which could become costly, right? This isn't anything that uh, is anybody else's problem. This will be the city of Watertown's. And so tonight you have the results of this study, so you get to learn what the problem or problems are and any suggested solutions from your city engineer, you think? Correct. I think that's what we're uh, looking to hear and we'll be able to, again, ask our questions of him, discuss as a council, see where we go from here. Yeah, that's a pretty big, uh, a pretty big study to, to get the results back from because, again, it could be something that's uh, expensive. Um, all right, so anything else coming from the city manager update that's going to be happening here tonight? Anything catch your eye on that? Uh, not that I'm aware of. This is just for the public's knowledge, um, an opportunity for him to share different updates on things that are going on with city departments, things that he wants to bring to the public or the council's attention. So we'll hear from him tonight. The only other thing that I wanted to mention and put a plug in for is the city is uh, hosting a job fair tomorrow from 11 to 3 at the fairgrounds and it's in conjunction with the Watertown Housing Authority and the Watertown City School District. So we will have representatives from city departments there from those other organizations that I mentioned and um, it's a great opportunity for anybody who's looking for a career change, a job. Um, to step down and get some information. So again, that's 11 to 3 at the fairgrounds. And that is on Wednesday, so as you say, tomorrow. Right yes. now we're Tuesday, so Wednesday the 13th um, is when that job fair will be, uh, will be happening. All right, very good. Mayor, thank you. Thank you.